intimidation, and it's, as far as I'm concerned, it's not okay. Tonight, a former Jags kicker Josh Lambeau is speaking to only one TV station, opening up to First Coast News about what he says was a toxic environment for him under head coach Urban Meyer, who he says intentionally kicked him during a practice after a preseason game in August. That's right, Anthony, and I sat down tonight with Josh Lambeau at his home. He told me that he decided to speak out now because of Coach Meyer's response Sunday when a reporter questioned Meyer about reports that he had called his coaches losers and had a heated argument with team captain Marvin Jones Jr. He said if there is a source, that person's out of a job. Essentially, I don't remember the exact quote, but that was in essence what he said. And he can't, I don't think he can deny that. Um, and that's what he did to me uh, in, in August, and it's just unacceptable to intimidate people into your narrative. And now the reason for speaking up about it is because he's trying to shut everybody else up. And he tried to shut me up once. I'm going to make sure it doesn't happen again. Josh Lambeau says during a practice after a preseason game in August, Jaguars head coach Urban Meyer walked up to him, called him a vulgar name, and then kicked him while he was stretching. He comes up to me and he says, hey, dip another word, uh, make your effing kicks, and then proceeds to kick me right in the leg, right in the hamstring, and literally kicks me in the hamstring. No, it, hey bud, make your kicks. It wasn't one of those, it just wasn't. Um, it was so much so I couldn't believe, and I looked at him, I said, don't you ever kick me again. So I'm the head ball coach, I'll kick you whenever I want. The Jaguars released Lambeau from the team in October. Lambo does not think he was released for retribution, but says the interaction he had with Coach Meyer impacted him mentally. My observation of it was that he couldn't stand being challenged. His manhood, his whatever you want to call it, his pride and his ego was challenged, and he didn't have a response, and so he threatened me. He threatened my job, my livelihood. So how was I supposed to come out and say that in preseason? Like, I'm still, <laughs> I still need to make my money, I still need to make my living. And um, I didn't feel that I could have said that and kept my job. How fit do you feel Coach Urban Meyer is to lead the Jaguars organization? For me, I would say completely unfit. Just, and that is my observation from what I saw day in and day out for a lot of months this year. The way that he treats the guys in the locker room, this, this pompous nature that he has, that he can get away with anything. It, um, uh, you know, I, I see myself as a Jaguar, and I, 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 I certainly don't see him that way. He had a lot to say tonight, and Lambo told me that he had his agent reach out to Jaguars legal counsel back in August, right after he says all of this happened. He says the organization never talked to him about it. Sports anchor Mia O'Brien continues our team coverage tonight. And Mia, I know you actually reached out to the Jacks today. What was their response? Anthony, the team says the Jaguars legal counsel indeed acknowledged and responded immediately to the query made by Josh Lambeau's agent Friday, August 27th. They say they offered to assist any way they could and that quote, any suggestion otherwise is blatantly false. Urban Meyer said in a statement of his own that the characterization of him and this incident is inaccurate and that there are eyewitnesses to refute Lambeau's account. So